you're here because you want to save the filament. I'm going to show you how to get a perfect print with a minimal amount of infill filament, especially for the prints like this. Uh, first of all, on your strength tab, uh, wall loops, you're going to go for two. It is possible to go with one, but that is already uh, a bare minimum with by doing one wall you risk some defects but it is possible uh, i'm gonna show you that in next video not this one top shell layers four is enough bottom shell layers four uh, sparse infill density three or five percent infill pattern rectilinear and i'm gonna show you why let's let's slice this so we are a uh, five hour sprint, 21 minutes with 52 grams of filament. And check this out. You can see that this type of uh, infill pattern uh, is uh, with just 5% is doing amazing job of uh, providing enough structural support for the printer to uh, get everything right you see here that printer uh, can print over these and uh, have enough of support uh, for overhangs for walls to stick everything for each other so just with five percent let's do let's do three percent and see what's gonna change we are 52 grams right now okay we dropped to 47 48 grams and you can see again that we still have enough of uh, structural integrity kept and let's not forget you always want to have uh, this check to all ensure vertical shell thickness if you turn this off you can have a lot of problems I prefer to just keep it selected to all in that way even if you put a zero uh, sparse infill density it gonna try and keep everything correct but uh, that can cause the problem so just uh, keep it like this. Just for reference, I want to show you what is going to happen if we uh, change to Jaroid. Again, 3%. Let's see what we're going to get. We are, are at uh, 40, 46 grams. And uh, you can see how much less or basically uh, a non-existent internal support for printer to properly print this print. You can see how everything is just printed uh, without any uh, supported area and this print would probably fail or have a lot of defects. But by choosing a rectilinear you can get what we want. Uh, that is a uh, least possible filament usage with uh, amazing internal support to 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 provide the printer best possible quality for your print and that is what we want uh, keep in mind that these settings are hugely dependent of speed tab and uh, overhang speeds and uh, bridge speeds why because uh, you see here that we have a lot of internal uh, bridges which the slicer is putting so it can uh, print these uh, areas which are not well supported with uh, internal infill uh, you need to keep an eye on that because it is really important but uh, that's that's the major concern on which you need to put your eye on the print looks beautiful uh, regarding the infill we can go even lower but you can see the infill is doing its job after six hours this is what we got Ooh, adhesion is <laughs> amazing check this out this looks uh, more than perfect check out this finish it looks amazing and we saved a lot of filament i hope you learned something useful today subscribe for more content like this see ya